Hi, today I want to go over three simple steps. Yeah, three, three. Three simple steps on how to purchase a manufactured home here in Edison Mobile Estates. First thing you want to do is contact me. You can do that by email, maria at dolanhomes.com or you can call the office 732-287-1839 one eight three nine and now I have an office cell phone and you can call that or text me if you care to and that number is you think I'd know it right oh seven three two eight seven four two nine five two so you can text me and I'll answer you on this little hot pink cell phone number and I'll get you the information that you're looking for the next thing you want to do is come in and visit so to visit you need to make an appointment and we can do that by, again, phone, email, or text. And then you're going to have to contact the four manufactured home loan providers that provide loans for manufactured homes in New Jersey. So I have them here on this list, which is what I'm going to give you via email or text. And there's four companies, First Credit, Key One Mortgage, Priority Funding, or Triad Financial. And they're gonna ask you if you have 10% down to purchase the home. They're gonna ask you if your credit score is 650 or higher. They're gonna ask you if you are lower um, credit score, if you can put a, um, a higher amount as a deposit, as a down payment. And also your debt to income ratio has to be 43% no higher that means you can't have more debt than your actual income if that makes sense all right the next thing you're gonna have to do is complete the resident application these kind of happen simultaneously uh, you email me or text me and I will send you the resident application and in it it's a $35 non-refundable cash um, application fee per adult living in the house and all the persons residing in the house over 18 have to fill out this application and that approves us to do a credit and a criminal check so that we can um, approve you to live in our community um, these applications have to be done in person you can't do them by uh, emailing me back or mailing it to me um, so basically you're buying three things you're buying the house you're buying a relationship with us as landlords and you're buying a loan if you need one um, from the manufactured home community uh, manufactured home pro loan providers so the thing about the relationship is important because um, you need to meet us and see what our standards are you need to see how we keep this place it's not like any other place you've ever been to we're a family owned business and we really pride ourselves on making everything beautiful and um, whenever we're possible taking out houses that are not um, to a high standard of living so we basically have a park that we purchased that was built in the 1950s that in the 70s we acquired and ever since then, whenever someone moves out, if they want to sell it and then they can't sell it because it's not in good condition, it's got mold problems, water problems, damage for whatever reason, we then end up taking the house to the landfill. And many times there are these older trailers and mobile homes from the uh, 40s and 50s and 60s that really were um, RVs for lack of a better word. They were recreational vehicles. They were not meant to be an actual home. So in 1976, when the federal government created the HUD code, thereafter, all the houses had six inch insulation, and you'll see that through the depth of the windows. And then the windows were thermopane, everything's energy efficient, all the appliances are energy efficient, Efficient. all the roof is a weight bearing load so that it can handle, you know, two feet of snow in New Jersey. So that's why our location is very different because we've made a personal decision to bring in quality, innovative, manufactured homes. And um, slowly, 
less of the homes are the trailers from the 40s or the mobile homes from the 50s and 60s. And actually, it's to your benefit because then when you purchase a new home, your utility bills are very low and it's more affordable for you to live there and it increases the value of all the homes here in Edison Mobile Estates. So the questions I'm going to ask you before we actually meet is who's buying the home? In other words, whose name goes on the title? And the reason I ask that is that we are a owner occupied community. We do not allow renting, subleasing, you to purchase the home for an employee, all of those other, um, these are all owned by the homeowner that lives there and it shows in how they care for the place. So I'm going to ask you who's living in the home, how many adults, and again, each adult has to fill out the resident application. I'm going to ask if you have the 10% down payment, what your credit score is, do you have a home you have to sell before you purchase this home, do you have an apartment lease that's going to be expiring, do you have to finance the, um, the home, and if you've contacted the finance companies that I've previously mentioned. Also, I'm going to ask you if you have any pets. Any pets over 40 pounds, unfortunately, this is not the right place for them. Uh, land is at a premium here. The square footage is not, you know, acres where big dogs need tons of room to roam. So we've had to make restrictions like many apartments and condo owners. So any of those pet lovers that are disappointed by that, I'm so sorry to tell you that we're under restrictions based on the situation that we're in. So there you have it. Those are the steps to owning a manufactured home and applying here at Edison Mobile Estates. So thank you for watching.